Welcome back to Studio Lou. I'm Cindy and today I am bringing you the sixth um, in this series of 12 gnome journals. Um, so today I'm hanging out with this little gnome friend. He's riding on a turtle um, and this is the journal. So I'm just going to call this one the teal gnome I think. <laughs> so this is a hardbound book. It's made from a vintage book and it has these little um, toadstool beads tied on the bottom here. And um, on the front we have this gnome. This is from an original gnome book, a vintage gnome book. And on the back we have the back of the same gnome. And this book is um, teal and it has been sort of stained and inked in uh, different places to kind of give it some nice texture and interest. The whole thing has been sealed and this is um, a batik fabric that I've sealed the binding with and there are two visible um, signatures here. So when we open up this book um, you're going to see there's a pocket here with a little gnome looking at a plant. It's been all collaged and inside there are a couple of things. So first this is the um, original ephemera from this book. It was, um, I actually forget what book I put this in but it had lots of maps and such. Um, and then there are two, the journal tag and a journal card. Both are collaged and gnome themed. And on the back of this one is this little leaf. And there's a bird here and a gnome with a little mushroom on his head. And this is original book ephemera. And these just pop right in here. Then we have some brown scrapbook type graph paper. And a nice book page of some fish underwater. And some botanicals, cabbage dyed large format um, encyclopedia paper for writing space. And on this side we have a pocket with some uh, butterflies and this little laughing gnome is looking at the pocket here. This is um, a paper about bees on the back here. So this is all about bees and there's a little laughing gnome on a collage journal card. And that pops in there. And then more information about bees and just some nice paper, some birds and a vintage bird card on um, just a watercolor paper and some botanical with a butterfly. This is a pocket with a lovely illustration of a bee and it's on some of the original book page uh, from the gnome book of some of the gnome machinery. And this is um, a journal tag that has a gnome here doing some pottery. And this little illustration of this buzzard. Children's, um, what is this called? Um, composition paper. <laughs> Took me a minute there. This is a jelly print that I did. And a black and white photo of a little bird. Just some nice green paper, or actually, yeah, green paper, but it is the backing of this pop-up. So um, if you haven't seen the first in the series of um, videos, it's called the Gnome Tome. You should check it out. Um, it's where I talk about all of the books and, and where I got everything to make the ephemera for this uh, series of journals. So one of the videos, the third or the fourth, I can't recall, I think it's the third, is the Enid Blyton Gnome, uh, Naughty the Gnome Gnome Book, and it was a pop-up book. So I have reused the pop-ups throughout the series of these journals. And then this one, um, this is, see the gnome on the bicycle, and there's a policeman talking to a bunny and a, and a little um, what are those guys called? The Weeble or whatever. I've heard they have a different name that they don't topple over. And there's like a little scene in the back with Naughty driving away. So it's a very cute children's book. And more green paper on this side. And a botanical. Jelly print and composition paper. And then this little um, imagery of a gnome sitting on a toadstool having a chat with another gnome. 
And over here we have a gnome sitting outside of a house. And then inside is a journal card with um, a couple of gnomes knitting. This little mouse holding this ball of yarn. And on the back it's just been collaged and stamped. And then just some vintage bird illustrations. More botanicals. And on this side we have an upper pocket um, with this insect. And it's on more um, sort of bee and insect uh, paper. This is a little journal card. There's a little gnome sneaking somewhere in the snow. That just pops in here. Now on this side we have another upper pocket. And behind it is more bee uh, paper from an illustrated um, insect book, a vintage one. And then this pocket is made from hand dyed paper and it's got this gnome riding on a snail being pulled by a little butterfly. And inside is this journal card. So it's like a terrarium, a black and white uh, illustration of a terrarium with some gnomes living inside. Cabbage dyed paper. And on this page we have some botanicals poking out and um, there's a fig plant. And this is a large uh, pull out, like a tri-fold uh, for writing on. There we go. And on this side is another pocket with a little orange there and a little um, bug. And behind it is this really cute, um, this is a, a book page from a children's book with really beautiful illustrations. Oh, and I actually missed something. <laughs> I always do this. So above here, we actually have hidden behind this, um, this pullout. I was wondering what I was, I was missing. There's something else. So behind this pullout, it's actually more pages than I even pulled out. Let me just... Give it a good uh, tug here. I think we have a little little bits of glue. There we go. So actually, it's a nice long piece of coffee dyed paper. There we go. So it pulls out both directions, and it's so big it goes completely off camera, but you get the drift. <laughs> so behind it, it's actually a pocket on the page, and inside is a journal tag um, that has this cute little Japanese mushroom person. And it's been all collaged. So again, that just tucks in behind here. Um, there's a little pocket and it just goes in there. So back to this page. So we have this cute little orange, this little bug on it. And uh, this is a journal card um, of a gnome doing some artwork. And it's actually cute because the book this came out of, uh, the gnome's book, if you just uh, search for vintage gnomes book you'll see um an illustrator and i completely forget his name um because it's not a it's not a latin name i, I completely forget his name unfortunately i should I'll, I'll try to link to it in the description box this is very similar to some of the illustration that he does he does um another book about giants and another book um about like trolls and so this is actually a troll and then a gnome so it's sort of like um a bit of a, a hint toward the illustrator which is cute and now we're at the center of the two signatures so two nice pieces of brown paper and I've just placed this really cute large journal card in the middle and it's a gnome feeding this little bunny and on the back this cute little chipmunk in a bunch of corn seeds on this side we have some um, avocado dyed paper with these knot illustrations and on this side we have uh, an upper tuck pocket and this little duck behind here and um, a little gnome that's reading on a journal card. And on this side we have some ducks. This is just some duck information, really nice vintage illustrations. And this is um, a coloring book page from the story of Pandora. And just some sort of wood grain paper and a little botanical illustration with a butterfly and some gulls from a vintage bird book. More botanicals 
And this is a butterfly page um, of images of butterflies. And there's a little butterfly on this pocket. And then inside is a journal tag. And it has um, this little gnome couple sitting under a toadstool. And on the back is a little moth. And the whole thing is collaged. And over here is a children's book page of some cute illustrated flowers. And above here is a pocket with these beautiful um, snails. And here is a gnome with his glasses, maybe just about to read a book. That's a little journal card. This is a jelly print. And more botanicals. Then we have this little paper sack and it's got a picture of this little sort of gnome child with these little mushrooms all dancing around her. And inside there's this journal card. It says Fox Friend and it is a gnome tending to a fox in the woods. And on the back it has this little uh, stamping of a mushroom. And that just tucks right on in here. And on the other side just tap it in there. <clears throat> On the other side, we have this sort of anthropomorphic uh, mushroom get together and some children's composition paper. Um, this is a little photograph of a bird. And now we're at the center of the second signature, and this is a page of butterflies. More botanicals and composition paper. And then another of those anthropomorphic uh, mushroom images. And on this side, it's a wintry scene of a gnome inside this toadstool house. And inside is a journal card with a dragonfly and a gnome. And that just tucks on inside here. And a little squirrel more jelly printing and more of that lovely children's um, illustration. And this is how to make a flower chain. And um, just some botanicals. And on this side we have a handmade envelope with a beaver on it. And inside is this journal card. And it's sort of a nighttime scene uh, with a little gnome kind of running through a field in, at nighttime. And that just tucks actually, oh, so this is a double tuck. This tucks in behind the envelope. Then when you open the envelope, there's another journal card. And this is of a gnome sort of drafting a plan. And there's a little leaf on the back. So there's a couple things to write on there. And on the other side um, of the paper is just this little um, illustration, this beautiful brown sort of illustration of a robin. It's all very pointillist dots. More of that wood grain paper and the coloring book page from the story of Pandora. And some more of these cute ducks from a vintage bird book. And on this side, we have a belly band um, with a gnome that's sort of, this was a scene um, of a gnome directing woodland animals out of a forest fire. So you see him there coming out of the fire all in the, in the image of the flame. And then behind is more paper about ducks and they're all sort of falling out of the tree. How young ducklings, um, they, they basically sort of fall out of their nest when they, when they leave the nest. And this is an envelope, a handmade envelope made from this um, paper from a, like a nature poetry book. So this is about poplars. So it's a nice poem about poplars. And inside is a journal card with a gnome and his reflection standing on a pond. And that just tucks right inside this little envelope. Um, like so. Lots of writing space. You can write there, you can write here, you can write here. Um, and the whole thing just tucks inside this little belly band. Um, then we have more coffee dyed paper with knots. And we've reached the end of the journal. So at the back we have this large pocket 
with some mushrooms and a couple of things inside, more matte paper behind. This is a large journal card of a gnome with a guinea pig and um, another gnome with a little duck friend. And on the back, just some plants. And this is a journal tag with a gnome in a cart and it says spring has sprung and it's got some mushrooms there and it's just a journal tag. Those just tuck on in here. And then we reach the end of the journal. So thank you so much for watching. Um, I will post some information in the description box, including all of my social media. Essentially, I'm Studio Lou everywhere, Instagram and Facebook. And um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.